firewood continues to dominate in cooking at 76.2%, charcoal at 5.3%, and crop residues at 4.5%, a total of biomass fuels at 97%. On the other hand, clean energies like ethanol, electricity, and LPG contribute to just 1% of cooking energy. The state minister emphasized embracing clean energy at the launch of the Energy Week. We should be thinking about clean energy. Migrating from fossil fuels, but there then I have conflict of interest. The government is giving out a total of 1 million LPG gas cylinders to mitigate deforestation. The private sector has also come up with affordable measures in form of solar power and electric appliances to contribute to this technological transfer. Ronald Kawesa, the business manager at Ikoka East Africa, spoke to us about an ongoing invention of a solar electric cooker, a first of its kind in Uganda, providing both cooking and lighting needs. So the Ikoka is very simple to use. It's basically a solar home system. So it has a panel whereby you just place your, the panel on the roof and then uh, you just connect it to the green base and just start your cook to do the cooking. So, uh, this invention is reliable regardless of weather conditions, means that solar only works during hot seasons. Cooking, it has a battery inside, so part of the energy from the panel is stored into the battery so that during times when the weather is not good, when it's raining, or it's a cloudy weather, um, you are able to cook using energy now from the battery. Unlike the other methods of cooking, this is very user-friendly. It's also a multi-purpose item, as Ronald explains. Emission free, so you don't have any smoke in your in, with the cooking. It's very very convenient. It cooks very fast. For example, if you are cooking a kilogram of beans, it will basically cook the beans within an hour. The beans are ready. But also when it comes to cost saving, how much do you spend to cook a kilogram of beans using charcoal? Basically, you are using uh, an amount between three thousand to five thousand to cook a kilogram of beans. But with the cooker you are basically spending between 300, 300 shillings to 400 shillings. So this is the Ikoka solar cook stove, and this is the complete set. So the complete set comes with um, a 275-watt panel, uh, two cooking pots, a portable lamp, a magnetic torch, and a set of um, DC wired lights. So the way the cooker works is that um, the solar panel traps energy from the sun and with um, this cable from the panel, we just plug it behind the base. Yes, so the base has an inbuilt battery that stores energy from the panel so that you can use it um, in times of uh, when the sun is not, not around or when it is cloudy, a portable lamp. So this lamp has different energy levels. The lamp can be either charged under the sun because it has a mini solar panel on it, or it can be charged using the same um, device, the cooker. Just as I illustrate this, this is charger. You just uh, place it in, and you can see it is charging. So apart from that, it also comes with um, a portable torch. These are all rechargeables. These are DC appliances. But it also comes with um, a set of wired lights so these lights, you can either decide to put one in the kitchen, one in the bedroom, one in the sitting room to enable the children to uh, do their reading, but also to enable you to do the cooking. So each light has an independent switch, so it's uh, for convenience. The private sector applauds the ministry for organizing this partnership with the government to fight for a common goal of preserving the environment through fighting wood fuels. I want to partner with government uh, to fulfill uh, the NDC. Remember that... Um, the government of Uganda committed itself to reducing emissions uh, by 22 percent come 2030, and these are the innovations which have come on board to contribute to, to that um, that milestone. Mary Great Nachganda, Business Today, Smart 24 TV, Driving Business.